Back, you're watching Liquid Lunch on Biz TV. I'm John Tobacco, and uh, it's the end of the week, and uh, it's just about the end of Freaky Friday. Um, but it sure is getting freaky out there in this universe, certainly in this country of ours right now, where we have uh, many states on lockdown. Many small business owners feel like their executive, their state executives, are d calling balls and strikes on big box workers can work, but small business owners can't work. Um, it's getting out of hand. Uh, I'm in New York, but certainly in New Jersey, our neighbor right here, the Garden State, where many of us New Yorkers love to go for the summer down the beach, the Jersey Shore. Um, there's a group of people out there with a uh, movement afoot to unlock New Jersey. And uh, I'm joined today by uh, Rosemary Becky. She's a tax attorney and candidate for Congress in Congressional District 11. Joseph Fa Falco is a gemologist and owner of Rose City Jewelers. And Betty, L Betty Lou DeCrosse, Assemblywoman for New Jersey's 26th Legislative District. So uh, Betty Lou, as the, uh, as the elected on this, I want to ask you first. Many people are coming out with some crazy plans. Other people are advocating for civil disobedience. What you guys are trying to do with Unlock New Jersey is put forward a plan that's staged, that's in line with some of the things the governor is saying. Is that right? Well, it is kind of, uh, it is and it isn't kind of in line with the governor. I think our plan um, is responsible and it's gradual. Um, listen, I have faith in the residents of New Jersey. I believe that they have gone through an awful lot and that they're going to be responsible. So I have a lot of faith in them. So I believe if we give them the ability to do the right thing, and that is to open up either 25% or 50% and then see how it goes and then 10% per week, they're going to do the right thing. Look, no business owner wants himself to be sick. He doesn't want or she doesn't want their employees or their, their uh, customers coming in to be sick. So they're gonna be responsible. We've all gone through so much and we've all learned over the last, what, eight, 10 weeks um, of what it's like. And um, I think they know and will continue and will follow a plan that's realistic. Now, and, uh, uh, Rosemary, you, Rosemary, you're a tax attorney, but more importantly, uh, you're a candidate for Congress and uh, it's probably one of the most competitive races in the country. Uh, where, what are your followers, the people you want to represent? What's the, what's the attitude of those people that they're encouraging you to fight for them for? Well, you know, what the people in my district want is they want to be open. They want to open safely and quickly. And that's what they want to see. And, and again, going back to what the Assemblywoman said, that's what our plan is about, like taking into account, you know, data and having measurable goals and, and things that people can rely on. I, I'm a small business owner um, and many others are as well. And, and you know, you want to be able to plan. Right. And you want to be able to, you know, know what the future looks like and your employees want to know as well. And so that's what we're trying to advocate for. And I think that's what the people here in the 11th district want. They don't want runaway spending. They don't want handouts. They want to feed their families and they want to keep everybody safe. And, and frankly, at the end of the day, you know, it's the customers will actually decide and I'll let uh, Joe talk a little bit more about that, but you know, customers won't come out if they don't think you know your store is safe or your restaurant is safe. They're going to be the ultimate judges of all this. I would say that's right on the money. Now, Joe, uh, you've been quite famous the last week and outspoken. You've been on Fox. You've been on Fox Business. Um, now you're on Liquid Lunch. We hopefully we can have you back. Um, but you're a store owner. I would imagine there's not a lot of people getting engaged right now. I would imagine there's a lot of, not a lot of people out shopping for gems. But the idea is you want to save your business. You want to make sure people know it's open. And then you make a decision if you want to open. And your customers make a decision if you're providing a safe place for them to come and do business. Is that right? John, uh, nice being with you again. Thank you for having me on, uh, especially for someone who's non-essential. Uh, 
I, I get that at home, but uh, I, I hate to have the governor uh, deem me as uh, an unessential business or <laughs> family. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, uh, back in the days of the leper colonies where they would, you know, put you someplace in Hawaii and tuck you away. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're digging out. My business is... Uh, like a very unusual business. And we're kind of, uh, we're, we're essential. I spoke to a lot of uh, um, uh, officials uh, about it in Trenton and things. And we, we do some medical repairs on uh, uh, different equipment, items uh, that, uh, you know, could be diabetes uh, machines or scanners, temporal scanners. Uh, some things are just simple as batteries and things, but we do those kind of repairs. So we've deemed ourselves as essential. Just this morning, a woman came in and she was in an automobile accident and her hand was uh, swollen and broken and she's on the way to go to the surgeon and she needed her rings cut off. That's essential. Her, her hands were just absolutely blown up. So we have the, you know, the diamond sauce to, uh, you know, to take that off. Uh, but, you know, this, this like, you know, lockdown, it's really like a lock up. I mean, you know, I, I spoke to someone uh, this morning and they bought the 72 inch televisions at, at uh, you know, at, uh, you know, TVs or us or uh, Costco or something like that. And a poor gentleman down the road, he sells uh, televisions and, and puts, uh, you know, puts together you know, big, you know, like, you know, family uh, uh, theaters. He's closed. Um, and so it, it's not fair. I mean, who, who's to say, you know, I don't know if it's, uh, uh, you know, Rosemary would know uh, if it's discrimination if it's discriminatory or exclusivity, I'm being, we're being excluded. And you're right, John, it affects our family. It affects me paying my rent. Uh, there's something in economics called the multiplier effect. And then there, you know, every dollar goes into uh, different people's hands five, six, seven, eight times. Right. Well, we have the negative multiplier effect now. Right. Rosemary, I want to come back to you. I want to come back to you and ask you, I know you're a tax attorney. But I'm not an attorney, but it sure feels like to me that the government is in the business now calling balls and strikes on who's essential. And um, I feel like, you know, it's almost a violation of, you know, maybe not civil rights, but equal opportunity rights for, you know, if you work in a big box, you can work. If you work in the TV shop Joe's talking about, you can't work. So how are people having the equal opportunity to work? No, that's exactly right. And, and, and we can't allow people to, you know, uh, governors uh, uh, come up with rules that, that frankly just make no sense and aren't fair to all. You know, uh, small businesses need the same rules that big businesses need. And, and that's what we should be advocating for. And that's a cornerstone of the plan that we've put out there, you know, is, is making sure that everybody gets treated across the board in the same way. Um, you know, and, and, and when you, whether you're looking at restaurants, you know, hair salons, um, manufacturing, again, we need to open safely and quickly, and we need to save our businesses, and we need to do it in a way where we're not discriminating against people based on their size or any other reason. I mean, that's the key here. Right. And Betty Lou, I want to ask you this. I'm, I'm watching closely Point Pleasant and Belmar, where I like to go sometimes, we're being a Staten Islander, um, and it seems like even though the governor has said some beaches could open, there's parts of Point Pleasant where the mayor hasn't decided to open the beach, so there's almost like intramural squabbles going on between state and local governments. Well, yes, and, and it is, and, and that's going to continue, which, you know, everybody's got to come together, and I think that's because the mayors feel that the governor needs to look um, at really each locale because everyone is different. You know, Joe, since retail's been shut down, you say you're from New York, you know, let's be honest, there's been a, a total slowdown of the giant shipping and the transportation and commodities in, in, industries. And, and when I say that, it's caused a problem at the ports of New Jersey and New York right now. That's you know, it. so, you know, but now the cargo is starting to stall. There are no retail businesses opening 
you know, to keep the demand going. So the supply train is chain, tra chain, excuse me, I'm sorry, is drying up because the goods are sitting at the ports. I'm sure you're aware of that. No question. So I live on the ocean here and I live on the ocean here in Staten Island, right across from the highlands. And I can see all kinds of cargo ships lined up. Yep. Um, just sitting there waiting for the port to open up, which is clogged with chips that can't unload. And, and uh, I want to thank you guys. We've got to have you back and follow up. Um, Betty Lou DeCros, Assemblywoman from New Jersey. Joseph Falco from Rose City Jewelers. And Rosemary Becky's a tax attorney and candidate for Congress in NJ11. Uh, check out Rosemary's site. Um, we need more people in Congress that are going to support our president. And uh, we need more people like these folks who are out there fighting every day for you and regular people. Thank, you, thank you guys very much. Yeah. Thank Dine you for watching, I'll but watch don't go anywhere. Here. You're watching Liquid Lunch. We're going to be back, Frankie and I, to wrap it up right after this.